Good morning, my name is Ricardo Zurita and I'm going to talk about adexanet alpha for the reversal of factor 10A inhibitor activity. Definition. Bleeding is a complication of treatment with factor 10A inhibitors, but there are no specific agents for the reversal of the effects of these drugs. And Dexanet is designed to reverse the anticoagulant effects of factor 10A inhibitors. At the site of vessel injury, the first platelets arrive to start sealing the wound. Simultaneously, the coagulation cascade with its various coagulation factors is activated. This involves two pathways, the extrinsic and the intrinsic pathway. Extrinsic activation begins with now exposed molecules of the vessel wall, such as tissue factor, which forms a complex with factor 7 finally leading to the activation of factor 10. This factor 10A is the point at which the extrinsic and the intrinsic pathways of the coagulation cascade meet. The intrinsic pathway consists of various coagulation factors activating each other in a chain reaction. At its end, a complex with an additional cofactor is formed. This complex now activates factor 10. Since the two pathways merge at the level of factor 10A, this factor has a pivotal role in the coagulation cascade. Further down the cascade, factor 10A... Applications in medicine. Adexanet alpha, adexanet, is a specific reversal agent that is designed to neutralize the anticoagulant effects of both direct and indirect factor 10A inhibitors. Dexanet is a recombinant modified human factor 10A decoy protein that is cat catalytically inactive but that retains the ability to bind factor 10A inhibitors in the active site with high affinity. And Dexanet binds and sequesters factor 10A inhibitors within the vascular space, thereby restoring the activity of endogenous factor 10A and reducing levels of anticoagulant activity, as assessed by measurement of thrombin generation and anti factor 10A activity the latter of which is direct measure of the anticoagulant activity. Coagulation factor 10A plays a pivotal role in the final common pathway of the coagulation cascade. Factor 10A assembles together with factor 5A on the platelet surface, forming the prothrombinase complex which is responsible for the large-scale conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. Inhibitors of factor 10A work by one of two distinct mechanisms. Small molecule direct factor 10A inhibitors, such as apixaban or rivaroxaban, bind to the active site of factor 10A and neutralize the catalytic activity of the prothrombinase complex. Indirect factor 10A inhibitors, such as anoxaparin or fondaparinux, bind to native antithrombin-3 and potentiate its capacity to inhibit factor 10A. And Dexanet, an investigational drug, is a recombinant factor 10A derivative being developed for use as a universal antidote to direct and indirect factor 10A inhibitors. And Dexanet lacks the membrane-binding domain of plasma-derived factor 10 and does not compete against native factor 10A in prothrombinase assembly on the Pros and cons. On the pros, we have that indications for the use of these agents include the prevention of stroke in patients with non-vascular atrial fibrillation, the treatment and secondary prevention of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, and the prevention of the venous thrombosis after an, orth uh, after an orthopedic surgery. The cons, the lack of a specific antidote to reverse their anticoagulant effects is an important limitation. Patients may be also be increased risks for bleeding if emergency surgery is required.
Thrombosis is the formation or presence of a blood clot within the circulatory system. Blood clotting can be useful as it prevents excessive blood loss when a blood vessel is injured, but clots can also form when they aren't needed and cause serious medical problems. Let's look at three such problems. In deep vein thrombosis, a clot forms in the calf or thigh as a result of stasis or slow blood flow. For example, in people who experience long periods of inactivity, or in response to inflammatory mediators from surgery, trauma or infections. The clot can cause pain and swelling. If part of the clot breaks off into the bloodstream, it can end up lodging in the lungs. This is called a pulmonary embolism and can be life-threatening. In individuals with atherosclerosis, a blood clot can form within an artery supplying blood to the heart muscle in association with an atherosclerotic plaque. The obstruction to blood flow can result in a myocardial infarction. Conclusion. In conclusion, adexonate is a specific rapidly anti acting antidote that is being developed for urgent reversal of factor 10A inhibitor, anticoagulant activity. And Dexinet rapidly restore factor 10A activity and thrombin generation and reduce unbound factor 10A inhibitor concentrations.